Hey guys, hey, how's it going? Hey, welcome to another episode of a Film Life Vlog. Hey, I'm so excited, you know why? Because I'm back here in our home here for Christmas. We just came here for a vacation. This is now our vacation home and it's really an awesome time for me. Just really beautiful. Let me show you guys what's going on outside because it's a winter wonderland outside. Look at this beautiful winter wonderland in our backyard here. It's just so pretty. My favorite is this tree right here. It's really like uh, living in a snow globe here. It's really beautiful. So I have something really cool to show you guys. So the tree is all decked out here. You know, my favorite part of Christmas is really putting up the tree with the children. Um, there's a lot of things that are associated with this tree. A lot of um, craft projects that the children were engaged in. And each year, as we put them together, it just brings memories of some of the things that they've done, like these projects and it just shows their progression as they have grown and also for my wife who is a teacher little things that have sentimental value like this which I believe was made by my son I think this was about three years ago right um, this was for me um, I think this was maybe about four years ago so we just put them up on the tree and just to celebrate family, right? So this is our Christmas tree and I think it's, it looks pretty good. And I guess no Christmas video can be complete without showing my collection of cameras, guys. These are currently the majority of my cameras. It's not all of it. Uh, for the most part, my point and shoot cameras are not included in this collection, nor are uh, my Polaroid cameras. I have about 10 or 11 Polaroid cameras that are not here. I have about 50 point and shoot cameras that I'm currently selling. So those are in our other um, residence. But the purpose of this video really is to showcase this little thing that I picked up at the thrift store today. I was looking for a scanner and it just so happened that I go to the thrift store today and I see a scanner and this scanner is not open. This box is not open. So this is a new scanner with an open box guys and I got this for $80. $80 guys. Look at that. And apparently this scanner is very, very good. It's a dedicated photo scanner, so that means you can scan negatives. You can also scan slides and photos. And this is exactly what I was looking for. So I'm really excited to unbox this and see if it has everything in there. Most likely it does, because this is unopened and it's new. So let's do a little unboxing here. And yes, this is actually new. This is both the, I guess, setup guide. And I can see the CD is in there, which is great. Uh, from the box, it says this is compatible with Windows 7 and Windows 8. So I think it's going to work with my Windows 10. I'm pretty sure. I guess this box is going to hold, um, I think, the negative holders or the slide holders. So I'm going to open that now. I think. I think I was right. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Pretty cool. So let's see what exactly is in this. Let's see. Well, this is different from what I have. So I think this, this is going to hold the 120 film. Right? These are the holders. This is actually a lot more than what I have. Because it looks like here, you're going to have four frame per side here so it's four times four that is 16 16 exposures and that practically takes care of a whole uh, roll of 120 film when you think about it 
that's pretty cool. The only disadvantage with this come in like that. I think this is six by six. It will only scan six by sixes. Um, there are certain cameras that will take maybe like six by nine, or um, and those ones will not work very well because of the partitions that you see, right? So maybe that's a little downside. Uh, but I guess I spoke too soon because for those ones you're gonna use. Uh, these holders that don't have the partitions right and that's perfect and look this can also scan large format as well guys that's incredible my current uh, scanner doesn't have these a lot more accessories than my current scanner has wow for 80 80 dollars guys you can't go wrong and of course this is your negative holders for uh, 35 millimeters and that's actually pretty cool because look it has a lot more um, allocations or spaces for negatives my current scanner can only handle two of these each line here is six exposures usually right so that's 12 and that's 24 right so 24 exposures my current scanner can only handle uh, 12 exposures, but this one can handle 24. So this I guess is actually an upgrade When I set off to go to the thrift store I wasn't expecting to find something like that I was just looking for maybe I'll find like a point-and-shoot camera or Whatever, but I ended up with this and this is certainly an upgrade from what I currently have There we go It's almost out. Oh something dropped and it is the power bar. There are a few more wires and stuff in this box. Ooh, this is fancy, guys. This is pretty fancy. Look at that. Ooh. Look at that. <laughs> Look at this fancy little thing. Well, it's not little, it's actually quite large. Uh, look oh yeah so guys this is actually quite impressive it's, it's it's larger than the one I currently have oh this is beautiful guys so this one here it covers the light okay the lights are coming from the top here shining on your negatives or your slides and then the scanner sensor just comes from the bottom and picks up the lights uh, whatever is going through your um, your negatives right that said this is currently covered with this white unit here I'm gonna take that off to expose the lights because you only attach this if you maybe scanning actual physical photos but since I'm scanning negatives I need that light so I think it oh, just comes off quite easily like that and you can see the lights LED lights I think does shine from the top here and I'll put this in a safe place whenever, I, if ever I have to scan photos or documents, I can still do that. So, let's look at the bottom of this. Ooh, pretty fancy. Very fancy. Yay! So guys, I got my scanner. I am really stoked to get this going. Tonight, I actually will be developing film, so this is just perfect timing. Perfect timing, guys. Perfect timing. So it's a beautiful, beautiful scanner, guys. Really, really, really love um, the look of it. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun with this, and I will be doing comparisons between this scanner here and the other scanner that I have to see if they're differences in performance for scanning uh, negatives but anyways guys I'm so glad you guys joined me uh, thanks for sharing this experience with me and um, I wish you and your family and your loved ones a very very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year guys I I've planned quite a few videos um, for the remainder of the year and also for the early parts of next year I'm already recording a lot of episodes. I have a backlog of photos that I've been taking that I haven't really been talking about. 
But now that I have this scanner here in this home, because this is where I do most of my developing work, um, this is going to enhance my productivity a lot. Because what I used to do is, I would come here, develop the film whenever I visit this house, and then travel six hours, five, six hours to our other house. And then when I have time, because over there it's mostly work, right? So I don't really get a chance to sit behind a scanner and scan all those negatives. It's just really cumbersome. But now I can do that here when I'm in my downtime here. This is our relaxation home. When I'm here uh, in my downtime, I can actually do work, uh, do some scanning. So this is perfect, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you leave this video a like? And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed Christmas, guys, and stay safe.